Hi, and welcome to episode six of my China adventure. So today's uh, story that I have happened in about in 2006 to 2009. And one of the things that is a really must see, of course, we've heard a lot about it and it is visible from outer space. And that is the China Great Wall. And the Great Wall is an amazing, amazing feat of engineering as well as, you know, the China emperors using slave labor to build this defense against the people coming down from the north that kept invading and stealing from them. So they built this wall. Now, <clears throat> the wall is not generally in the area that you go see is not just flat land. It is rugged, rugged mountains. And the way they build it is absolutely amazing. But I visited this a number of times. And one of the times we were up on the uh, wall and you can walk on the wall uh, just north of Beijing. And as you're walking, it's very interesting because they built it so that every step is a different height. So that if anybody did get onto the top of the wall, the invading army, they would have to look down to see where they were stepping rather than up where they're fighting. And so they would trip. But the Chinese that lived on this wall, they would have memorized where steps are and exactly. So uh, very, very interesting. So we had hiked up to this wall, up this wall for a long period of time, maybe about a mile. And it's so interesting. You would stop at different places and stuff. And uh, they would have people selling things along the wall. So they'd get their baggage of stuff. They'd hike up the wall every day, set up their little table and sell whatever. And one time when we went and a missionary friend's son was staying with us at the time in the U.S., Hoffa. And... He was about 14 years old and we were hiking up the wall and we came to this little table where this girl was painting the inside of these glass balls or eggs. And looking at her, I, I thought, well, this is very interesting. And what you would do is she would have all these scenes in the inside of the glass ball and then she would uh, write your name. Of course, you had to do it in reverse image write your name and the date uh, on the inside of the glass ball. And I said, I think I can do that. <laughs> Jokingly, she says, if you can do it, I will give you this for free. So I did it. And it wasn't really too hard. You just had to paint like you were doing a mirror. And so I did it. And she said, wow, that is so great. She said, here, this is free. Because then, of course, we bought a bunch of them for our friends. Um, Three or four years later, I'm with another group and I'm on the wall and we're hiking on the same top of the wall and we're out there and there, three or four years later, is the same girl. And I went up to her and I said, I remember you. She said, I said, do you remember me? She looked at me. She says, of course, you painted on the inside of the ball. So uh, it's just an interesting story uh, on how Somebody in China remembered me because of something little that I did. And that is something that we should never forget. Sometimes we can do a small little thing and people never forget it. It can be for good or it can be for bad. This was pretty much non-consequential. Con consequential. But what small thing could you do today that would make an impact that somebody would never forget. It may not be something big to you, but it could be big for them. So this is China episode number six. Stay tuned for more or if you missed the very first one, you can get it back. Okay, so click on the link, click subscribe, hit the bell if you want to get notified of my next story. Have a great day.